Cameron. So recently, one of interview or his many interview, Dwayne Johnson, he's saying again, man, this man is really promoting this Black Adam movie hard. Uh, before I go to this news, I want to say this. I actually thought it was okay watch for me black adam like i don't like this like this movie like some people but i don't like this movie either so, like some people i guess the only thing i didn't like overall about black adam is like when i heard that Dwayne johnson he asked uh black adam cameo he asked removed from the shazam movie it sounded like he doesn't want to be associated with shazam movie although he is from shazam like he's shazam's arch nemesis but he refused to be seen with him that's what bothered me about this other than that uh you know Dwayne johnson i liked his movie i always do check them out but at this point how much is going far to promote his movie black adam i find it at this point like really silly so this recent interview, he's talking about, again, how hard it was for him to get Superman cameo in this uh, uh, Black Adam movie. Like how much of the old Warner Brother regime, they didn't want him and uh, all this thing. But I personally feel like the new Warner Brothers uh, head, uh, James Gunn, I think he's not talking to him. So far, he has not said anything about them uh, at this point. I don't know if they will be green lighting uh, uh, Black Adam sequel. I will be really surprised if James Gunn says something about it. But at this point, looks like he's really going around and talking stuff about Warner Brother, uh, which to me, like, uh, although he did get Superman cameo in Black Adam movie, but it didn't make any difference box office wise. That is what I think James Gunn probably thinking. Uh, although I do think they are making new Superman movie. But at this point, who knows? Adam, end of the day, it is a huge flop for Warner Brothers. This movie cost $200 million to make. And it, uh, and if you think about all the advertise for this movie, they did advertise this movie a lot. So I don't think it even, like it's not even closing a break even. Like I probably, it is a huge flop for them. Uh, which is uh, James Gunn probably taking note now that he is the big boss. Uh, so he's going around telling how Warner Brother <laughs> didn't want it Henry Cable back as a Superman. And uh, he's calling Henry Cable the best Superman till to date. And when I, uh, like even better than uh, Christopher Reeve, uh, that is taking too far. Because I love Christopher Reeve's uh, take on Superman movie. Then again, to, to be fair, uh, like if someone asked me who did i like more uh, is henry cavill as good as everybody else or like is he better than everyone else uh, that is a very tough question because i do like henry cavill's uh, like he's as the actor every time he's on screen like i loved him in witcher not that he's not witcher i do feel sad I'm, i might not see witcher anymore after season three uh but did I like him as a Superman? That is a very complicated question. I even liked him in Enola Holmes uh, because I did love uh, growing up Christopher Reeves as Superman. Then again, I think it's Christopher Reeves, he was in a more like a hopeful Superman movie and he, his character was happy and hopeful. And where Sup uh, Henry Cavill Superman was like, he was very angry <laughs> although i thought uh, uh, henry cavill superman i finally thought he was really good in the george whedon justice league movie in that movie he was really happy and cheering end of that movie i really like that part so i feel like for his uh, superman movie there is the future you know where he's happy and cheering and hopeful because end of the day superman supposed to be happy cheering and hopeful he's not supposed to be sad and emo it just doesn't work for this particular character you have to understand uh, because these characters they are based on a comic book and they are i, I have read many like superman comic book and none of them he was like this uh, uh, that is why you were make when you were making comic book movie you do want to bring something different but you don't want to be too different that people don't accept it anymore uh, that is why black adam movie that is where uh he the, this movie faced difficulties end of the day black adam it is he's the arch nemesis of shazam he's not his own character like uh Dwayne johnson he pretends to be although he does have power like superman but you should be in part with you you know it's like a flash movie like the the reverse flash is uh 
uh, flush arch enemies and he don't want reverse flash to be like something else in his own movie that's the like correct example i can give uh where at this point i find dwayne johnson he's really going i don't know he's really going uh, like far <laughs> some people will be really mad at him uh, at this point he doesn't care he's really mad at this and uh, i think some people are calling out his ego and that's i feel sad for doing johnson the biggest movie star in the world let me know in the comment what do you think about his comment on this and if you enjoyed my this video don't forget to share my other videos on other topics if you enjoyed this please subscribe until i see you next time please take care